Okay, there we go. Now I can actually hear things. Uh, so we just crashed a ship in Africa. Wait, how many shots does Zeno have? Like, if he still has a couple of shots, then he should be fine. He has, uh, he has four, that's fine. How's research going? Uh, so so. I'm, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the Martian solution. Mentioning things that we simply can't do. Um, manufacturing, building retaliator, three days. Okay. I have money, so I should probably actually flush out my base slightly more. If another living quarters, another workshop. Um, sleepy people, what do sleepy people have? Sleepy people has equipment, yes, okay. So, tainted mines? Tainted mines have equipment. No, okay, so tainted mines needs equipment and people. So does Captain Africa. That's good on that. And people, a bunch of smoke grenades. And some proximity grenades. And the same. Not living space. Okay. Yeah, Captain Africa will have to wait then. But tainted mines, we can transfer stuff. 10 laser rifles. 5 medkits. Oh, did we run out of armor again? Really? So we had lots of spares. And I guess we sent them all to other bases. Oh no, they're here. Alright. Uh, First alarm is starting to become not useful. Because they're starting to use heavy plasma, it's mostly just useful against explosives and our own weapons at this point. Um. So it might actually not send over more than five. Yeah, we're definitely not going to use some of these navigations. Um, don't need plasma pistols, don't need plasma rifles. And that's uh, probably more heavy plasmas than we need. Here we go, even more money. Let's build a final base somewhere. Um, maybe here? Arctic? There? That's mostly in water though, that's not very useful. As if we find the um, UFO, we probably don't want to shoot it down anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess Arctic. Around here yeah, looks good. What do we call a Siberian base? <laughs> um, Serving dominance doesn't fit. Damn it. Um, <laughs> probably should have thought of a name before I made it. Just to janky. Call it that. Um, so the proper layout I think was here. With hangar below. Yeah, I think so. Although at this stage the hangers are mostly useful in these bases because it lets me equip armor onto people. And that's about it. Okay, did I get it right? Oh, perfect. 
And he's done. A flank suit, perfect. So the flank suit actually has slightly more armor than the power suit. So like even if you don't need the flying stuff, it's just useful to have more armor on the suit. Um Weapons and equipment. Personal armor. So personal armor is fifty at the front. Our suit's a hundred, and then you can see flying suit. Oops, you can see flying suit. This increases everything by ten in terms of armor, which actually probably doubles the odds of surviving a heavy plasma shot. Something like that. I'd have to run the numbers, but it's it's a pretty significant increase in how much you can actually survive because once you get close to the um, amount of damage which a weapon does then it becomes very difficult to actually kill you with that weapon because the, uh, the weapon shots they have an RNG so they have the, the damage value and then it'll either go a little bit higher a little bit lower you know it has like a range so if you can get close to the weapons listed value then you can make it extremely difficult to die to it and I'm supposed to be equipping more people on this ship. Wait. No. Only one captain. I guess that's fine. We could give the more experience to the rookies. Poor Anna with her personal armor. We're gonna have to build some more suits once this uh, retaliator is done. And off we go. Tiny little Sky Ranger. Someone's missing a gun. Why don't you have a gun? That's pretty weird. Can you carry that? No. Okay. That is unfortunate. Uh, ditch the proximity. No, actually, no, you can keep that. Just hold that in your hand. Maybe you can have the stun rod. Who doesn't have an electric flare? You. Okay, fair enough. Who could use another smoke? Who can actually carry the smoke? Uh, you can grab it. You might as well grab the flare. Uh, actually, no. Don't worry about it. Snake man. Please don't die. Uh, it didn't take any damage. I guess that's really good. Snake man, that's a heavy plasma. You got kind of lucky then. Alright. We'll try and leave the kills for less experienced people like Monica. This guy's expended most of his time units, so it should be pretty safe to shoot him. And we got him anyway, so... Because he fired them um, three times at the tank, which suggests he has basically nothing left. Just get that smoke cover out. Alright. I should move the tank. Oh. Hey, 
Hanna von Dijk. This guy does not deserve to be a sergeant. He should be a rookie, let alone a squab. Well, that didn't make sense. He should be a squatty, let alone a sergeant. Like, Anna sort of says it, but... Wow, that's a lot of guys. with good reactions. 31, that's abysmal. 61, alright. Hannah will scout the path to freedom and then run away when she realizes that there's nothing there. I'm just staggering my guys a little bit just so they're a bit less vulnerable to AoE fire. So that's not an easy shot to take, but let's give it a shot anyway. Need to find out where they are. Perfect. Oof. Wait. You hit the ground underneath them. Jeez, dude. I know I said it was a difficult shot, but... <laughs> How do you shoot the ground at someone's feet without actually hitting them? There we go. I gotta get the tank to just chill there. Not maybe my guys up into fire support positions. Of course, you don't have enough time units. Hello. You could use a shot. Mark Underwood. You're up. Unconscious. Interesting. Another one. Okay. You're still up. Nice. to that last bit, but it's fine. We'll make it work. Just smoke covering my flank so I can move up without worrying about it. Get these guys to move as well. Whether the guy with personal armor needs to hang back slightly. It's still quite a lot of movement. Oh, I forgot a guy. Whoops. Uh, you can just sort of go in between both squads. You have a lot of time units. There you go. And back into the smoke where you're safe. Oh, 
hello. It's your lucky day, actually, throw the smoke grenade first. Experience would be quite useful for her. Don't see them. Alright, let's start moving these guys up as well. sort of behind the hill a little bit so they can see to the left but like they're not going to get um, noticed by the UFO hopefully interesting oh we can see them nice a little bit lucky he didn't shoot back your actions are above average I'm guessing the last one's probably just in the UFO. Fourth. These guys will prepare to bridge. Here's the best reactions fifty nine, fifty five, that's pretty good as well, and fifty. Oh, uh. Right in front of you, dude. Well, at least he didn't get shot back. Sixty-four accuracy, forty-nine. You need the help more. Interesting. Shoot from here. Here. Well, he didn't die. I think that's the last guy. Alright. So we should be good to go now. Should. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna bail out of here. This is too risky. We don't know where they are. Can you guys all move up slightly? Just in case they're hiding outside. Too 
too far. Alright. Alright, well. We didn't take damage, so that's good. Your link's probably better. Increases accuracy. Costs four time units, but. I think it's worth it here. Oops. Well, she might have actually hit what I told her to shoot at. Nice. Alright. So one was dead on the ship. And we're out of smoke grenades. Again. Six thousand dollars worth of smoke grenades. Hit of mines. Well, some corpses. Everyone likes corpses, right? Right. Some mine probes. That's unusual. A lot of alloys. Alright, so I'm gonna stop building out. Um, this base as a like um, workshop center. Because you don't really need the larger radar system either. Mm. Yeah, and smith lot. The hyperwave decoder makes it redundant. Because the hyperwave decoder is as good as, as the large radar system in every way, and then a lot better on top of that. It's in Africa. Okay, so you can buy your soldiers now. I think you already have your equipment. No. Okay. Let's transfer that. Captain Africa. You may have... I guess you get laser pistols because I don't have anything else on hand. Uh... Personal armor? No, five. There you go. Not build. Um, equip. Want to put this smoke grenades back on board. Oh, perfect. Uh, so we want to get working on. Let me check how many suits. I want each base to have at least five uh, power suits. It'll be a little while before we can use them, unfortunately. Okay, so we need four there. And five there. These guys are a bit ways off, so I won't bother manufacturing for them just yet. Uh, so, nine power suits. Five days. Fair enough. But yeah, we can't um we can't use the armor just yet because you have to if you have a base defense mission, as I found out the hard way, you have to have a craft present in order to equip armor on your soldiers, which is stupid, but that's the way it works. So the fire storm's pretty nifty. Uh it's much faster than any of the earth-based craft, but it uses um, Illyrium to fly, so sort of so-so. But on the plus side, the um, th th this the new fighter transporter is pretty awful. Um, it's almost never a good idea to use it. But the craft after that is the best craft in the game. So if we just follow down the tech tree, we're gonna 
end up with some pretty sweet stuff. Large party ship partying in Europe. Oh god. Gonna get there before I can do anything about it. Uh, so this retaliator should go somewhere else. Currently have raft at North America, Australasia, Southern Africa. I might just send this one to Europe. Buy a couple more um, cells while I'm here. Oh, room? Please don't. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can destroy it with only this ship. I had forgotten about that fact. Even if I hit it with everything. I'm out of ammo. Uh, oh. The closest guy with actual guns is Butt Destroyer, but he's on the other side of the map. So, that was poorly thought out on my part. Uh, 